Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to introduce you to one of the most adorable moths that I have ever met. This is what we call the strawberry cake moth. It also goes by the more boring name, the rosy ermine moth. But I like strawberry cake because I'm fat, so strawberry cake it is today. I'm sure you are very curious about this biology and to learn some more facts about this adorable little cutie. Well, you came to the right channel to learn about moths. Today, Brazilian bug highlight, the strawberry cake moth. Let's get started. This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. Let's start with an official identification. The scientific name is Trosia nigropunctigea. That sounds less wholesome than the strawberry cake moth. These moths are distributed across Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Ecuador, Brazil and Peru. This species is found in rainforest and cloud forest habitats at altitudes between 400 and 1200 meters. Now apparently, some records online mention that the genus Trosia may be a little bit of a taxonomic mess, with several published names likely being synonyms of each other. Great! It's quite possible that if you are watching this video several years into the future after it was made, this species is renamed, or synonymized at least. But Trosia nigropunctigera is the best that I can do right now. Some sources online mention, however, four different species, which is Trosia dimas, nigropunctigera, Trosia rosita and Trosia obsoleta, may in fact all be the same species. Who knows? Ah yes. Taxonomy. This moth is from the Megalopygidae family, known as the flannel moths. Now flannel moths are some of the cutest moths that you will ever see, apart from their vicious larvae that can have quite venomous, toxic and urticating hairs. Megalopyged moths do not feed and have very limited lifespan because of this. Adults only live for a few days typically, which is just enough to mate, lay eggs and then die. Unfortunately, much of the ecology and life history of this particular moth remains unknown to science. And that means, since we don't really understand the life cycle of this species and their host plant, it is hard to conserve this species. The good news is it's very common and probably not in need of any conservation. But it's remarkable how little we know about moths in the tropics, isn't it? This is why more people need to go out there and raise the caterpillars to document crucial information. This is why my YouTube channel exists and why I am researching moths in Regua in Brazil. I'm an entomologist currently documenting the moth fauna in Reserva Ecológica de Guapiazu in Brazil. Some of it for science, but some of it for social media, to spread awareness about these wonderful and neglected animals that are still very important to a healthy ecosystem. My YouTube channel is sadly completely demonetized by YouTube, which makes it very hard for me to make so many videos. Now listen, I am not on YouTube to make a fat paycheck, but it's hard to make hundreds of videos the way I do while having to pay bills. Therefore I have to remind people that if they like my show and if they enjoy my videos, please consider donating to my channel or becoming a Patreon member. Sorry for the internet begging here, it's the only way I can continue. Of course, only if you can afford it. Help yourself before you help a random YouTuber, okay? Anyway, this was Bart Coppens with a very cute moth I was happy to share. See you in my next insect highlight.